Well, this is new. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Grumps from Grumps Rides. And you are watching the Western Supermoto Vlog. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is obviously very different to my normal vlog. I'm not used to being on this side of the camera. I don't like being on this side of the camera. However, when you wear an open face helmet, it's a little bit more difficult to get your setup right. Um, open face helmets are very much frowned upon in the, in the UK. Uh, not so much in America, but I think when you see some of the states of our roads and our drivers, there's probably good reason for it. But the reason for today's video is to carry out my first, second and third opinion of my new bike. So let's take a look at it. So there it is. Say, that's a nice bike. It's a 2005 Harley Davidson Sportster 883. It's the XL 883L, which I've been informed is actually L for low seat height rather than low power. However, you could be mistaken for thinking it could be either. Um, look, it's a, it's a glorious looking bike. I know not everyone likes Harleys, but I like Chrome. That's probably my age. Uh, and I love it. I love the look of it, the, the retro styling, the, the spoked wheels. I mean, it's just brilliant. Now, the reason I said first, second and third opinion is because this isn't my first ride of it. I've had it now for about a month, maybe slightly more. Um, but when my wife saw it, she actually fell in love with the bike. I've taken the backrest off now, which she finds uh, makes the security of, of her sitting on the back much, uh, much more comfortable. But um, so all the rides I've done have actually been with her, which means I had another opportunity to just stop, talk, try and explain what I think about the bike. So first impressions, take away the looks of it. That's a bit Marmite. A lot of people like the Chrome, the Retro. A lot of people don't. I personally do. Um, performance. Don't buy one of these for performance. It's an 883. It's the smallest Harley Davidson. It's the smallest proper Harley Davidson that they make. Um, they make the, the Street 750 and the uh, Street Rod 750, but they're not built in America. They're not considered proper Harley Davidsons. They were built for a market in that region of the world because they're built in India. Performance wise, this isn't going to scare you. It isn't going to um, win any drag races off the lights. Uh, but it's not designed for that, it's designed for comfort, it's designed for uh, cruising, touring, and it is capable of doing both. Um, I've had someone sat on the back, my wife sat on the back, several rides on highways, motorways, and I've had no problems whatsoever. Again, don't buy one of these for a track day missile because it isn't one in any way, shape or form. But it rides comfortably and it's smooth and it's sorted and it's planted. I wouldn't want to take it too hard into corners, but that's again not what it's designed for. Uh, the brakes are good. Everyone said about the brakes not being very good and that worried me a little bit, but actually if you ride it within its means, the brakes are more than adequate, um, if not excellent, especially the rear brake, which is fantastic. It's an old carburetted big V-twin and regardless of whether it be in the smallest Harley, um, it's still an 883 and it's a long stroke narrow bore 883 which makes it a big V-twin. We're just going to hang on now because it's uh, rush hour in the West Country so just bear with us a second. And that's the end of rush hour in the West Country. So 
what do you buy one of these for? You buy it because it's chilled, it's relaxed, it's a little bit slow, a little bit sedate, and a little bit boring, a little bit like me. Um, and that's what I wanted it for, because I wanted to chill out. My license is very important to me, and unfortunately the VTR, even though it's not a brand new sports bike, a 200 mile an hour missile, it is still a quick bike that's capable of well over 140, 150 miles an hour. Unfortunately it gets up there quite quickly, and my license is far too important to me to, uh, to risk. So I wanted something I could still enjoy riding without the bike constantly telling me to go faster, go faster, go faster. And this is why I bought this. And I love it. be able to hear me while I travel quite slowly with the mic not being inside my helmet and I hope you can hear me over the uh, beautiful exhaust notes of potato 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 that comes off the Harley now these roads are a little bit weird because they're not really set up for cruising they're not really set up for sports bikes because they're too narrow and usually covered in a bit of gravel but it's just great that even on this to ride it, it's you know, it can cope with most terrain, most road surfaces. You know, they brought out flat trackers, some homemade scramblers that people sort of produced. covered the main bits. Hope that helps if you're ever thinking of buying one of these beauties. I'll leave you to it and I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>